So today we are going to learn that how to create a vector object in Adobe Illustrator and how to copy it in a Photoshop with word settings. And what are the advantages of creating a vector smart object and where we can use that technique. So let's start that creative process. Welcome to Innovative Codes. My name is Imran Iqbal. So for creating a vector object, I will use the Adobe Illustrator. I will just create an object or a document uh, by pressing a create a new. So I have the canvas of 1000 pixels by 1000. Uh, for a quick creating a vector object, I will use the image and trace it in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, so in this tutorial, you will get to know how to trace an image uh, as well so what will I do the first step is uh, tap on the trace image button or you can uh, go through from Windows option okay so I will use trace image with the default preset you can use the other preset uh, try it out uh, as I required default for now so it's converting the image into the vector object So after converting the second step is uh, click on the expand and the third step is ungroup all those vector elements after uh, uh, converting and ungrouping all those vector elements i will just uh, remove the unwanted uh, bar that i don't need no i will open the adobe photoshop and create an artboard for pasting that vector object And here I go. I will open the Adobe Illustrator and choose any of the vector element. I will just press Ctrl plus C key for copying that vector element and paste into the Photoshop. So here are the settings. Before um, considering the settings, let me clear you one point that the Adobe Photoshop works on the raster uh, based techniques. The raster based images uh, work on uh, pixels and the vector based images work on the paths so here's a quick review or you can uh, search further from the internet difference between the raster images and vector images so what will i do if i choose a pixel and hit ok uh, so here you can see that uh, if i resize it and place it no i will just transform it increase its size you can see the image is pixelated okay due to rasterization its value is pixelated so we can't use it so here the vector smart object plays its role what will i do i will just delete that layer and again paste uh, the vector object by using a control as a v key now at this time i will choose the smart object over here and i will uncheck add to my current libraries option okay if it's che uh, checked it means that uh, the vector object that you are pasting will go to your cloud directories and paste it over here and it will take more time okay so i will use the smart object uncheck the add to my current libraries option and hit ok button so here you can see now we have vector smart object layer over here okay uh, if i place it and now i will transform it and increase its size you can see that it is not getting pixelated okay so here's the advantages of using a vector objects while designing your brochures banners or anything else so uh, here's the point and so why it's called a vector smart object uh, here's the more advantages of it uh, let me show you that it works as a smart object so what will i do i will just double click on it it will uh, open a project with the same name in the Adobe Illustrator and here you can see our vector object okay now if I changes its color 
like this one okay and hit the control plus s key to save it the same changes will act in adobe photoshop 2 okay so if there are a number of players in your uh, uh, project like if you are designing a banner or brochure then you haven't to mask the layers or changes its color you just double tap on that vector smart object and changes uh, will apply and you can see the results in the adobe photoshop 2 so i will uh, just quickly uh, design a banner for you uh, in order to let you know that where you can use that technique further so what will i do i will just uh, use the gradient option over here changes its color uh, increase its opacity and hit ok and rotate that gradient out there it's okay fine uh, now i will just uh, put an object over here in photoshop here's an image of a shoe and the nike shoe i will just select that vector object copy it by using a control plus c key and paste it into the photoshop by using a smart object without checking that option hit ok and here you have that vector object you have to just resize it Uh, place it over here I will hit the uh, vector smart object and changes the vector